Hi Aries, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. What have we got? You deserve love, you are lovable. Mm. So some of you may be doubting that and some of your divine masculines maybe as well. You know, feeling like, um, feel like more for masculines, you know, maybe they aren't good enough for this connection. It comes up a lot for masculines. Also like feminines, you know, you may be doubting like this is possible um, to come back together with your person. You know, you deserve this love. You know, it is possible um, for everyone. Let's see what else we get. Also, don't forget to give the video a like up, guys. When you do that, it shows me that you like the content. Also shows YouTube that you like the content. It's good content and it's worth YouTube recommending to other people. So that's how the videos kind of get shared and the channel grows. Share the videos as well. Religious factors. Your love life has been influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Hmm. So some of you could have, um, you know, quite big religious differences that have been, um, you know, ca caused a bit of issues in your connection. I feel some of you are from kind of quite strict religious families and your person could be of a completely different religion, culture. This is a typical like twin flame thing. Lots of differences like big age gaps, different cultures, different countries you may be from, from and different um, religions as I say so uh, yeah I feel family interference due to that if your person is of a different religion so that could have affected some of your connections you feel it's just maybe not possible to work out or other people are telling you that uh, let's get one more Mmm, separation. So there is a separation at the moment for um, you watching. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I kind of feel like this is happening currently. Um, as you know, as twin flames, separation is an illusion. You're always in union as you are one soul. So you're always in union with yourself as well. But you may not be hearing from your person right now. And so there, it does kind of feel like a separation. Um, let's see, let's get into some tarot. Maybe as well, some of you are just on a kind of spiritual path and your person's more religious or vice versa. Just getting. Okay, let's see. Divine Feminines. Let's take a look into you guys first. Let's see. What are Divine Feminines? Hmm. Okay. So, we, okay, we've got this little wounded warrior here, Divine Feminine. Wounded soldier here. Kind of full of worry here. Um, hmm. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, Knight of Pentacles. Um, oh my god, I don't know why I forgot there. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. <laughs> hmm. So I feel from this, you're letting these doubts get to you a little bit. As I mentioned with this, you deserve love card. Um, it, it feels like you're wondering if your person's ever going to turn up. You know, it's just taking a long time, pentacles, energy. It, it, it just feels to me that you are, you've kind of been battling your, your thoughts, your mind a little bit here. Like, is this possible? You know, we're in separation right now. Maybe we're going to be, you know, one of these couples that just doesn't come back together. I just feel these kind of, anxious thoughts going around here but 
you're clinging, you know, this is about hope as well. You're kind of clinging to that hope, like, deep down, like, you know, trying to battle that sort of mindset that, no, you do deserve love. And, you know, it's coming out confirmation you deserve this love. It is within your grasp, you know. She's pointing this arrow even. It's like Cupid's arrow, you know, at your person. It's, it just feels like it's within your grasp. You're just maybe not seeing that. Six of Swords, okay. Now, as you guys know, I don't often take reversals. Unless I feel really guided to. And, you know, it just feels really appropriate. I'm guided to take it in reverse here. Six of Swords, Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. It's yeah, This is what you guys are worried about. If this is resonating for you, my little Divine Feminine is tuning in here. Because... Six of Swords is all about movement forward, you know, closing like emotional and physical distance and just being in reverse here. Um I I just feel you're kind of concerned. Are you ever gonna see this movement forward? It's like you're kind of not seeing it, <clears throat> especially because of the separation, you're not seeing it, and you're just kind of quite I just feel worry a lot. Worried that this may never come together, you know, the distance is too great, you're just kind of not seeing this move forward, you're kind of worried it won't ever move forward. Hmm, some of you may have had a bit of conflict with your person as well, it's led to the separation. And the Six of Swords is all about, ooh, coming into a peaceful time, coming out of choppy waters. Um, and it's in reverse here, so I'm kind of feeling maybe a bit of conflict there. Um, oh, I feel like I had something else to say about that. Um, hmm. But it just does overwhelmingly feel like, you know, you're wondering if your person's ever going to show up because it's taking a long time. Yeah, okay. Six of Wands, more fire energy. Seven of Swords, more air energy. Huh. I honestly, it feels like you're doubting if you can trust your person. Can we kind of have this triumph together? Have they changed? You know, your person may have been quite deceptive in the past you know so sneakiness lies things like that it's also about kind of lying to yourself a little bit and you know it can be about self-protection and things like that it just feels like you have maybe been telling yourself this story like we can't come together there's too many differences I'm not seeing them move forward, you know, which which is kind of not true. But that's like the narrative you're kind of telling yourself because it's, you know, this is a really difficult time for the two of you. Hmm. Yeah, it just feels like you're thinking, can we kind of triumph over this? Can we have victory together? So it's kind of about overcoming those thoughts, you know. Let's have a look into Divine Masculine's energy today. I do feel, I've just been guided to say again, there could have been some quite, quite a big bust up here leading to the separation. <clears throat> yeah, take that if it resonates, lovelies. Divine Masculine, what is your energy today towards... Your connection, Divine Feminine. Oh, okay. Oh, again. So they're really in their heads about this too. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Leo, Leo, Libra, sorry, Aquarius, Energy, Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
there's water energy on here. So, they're kind of, <laughs> you're both mirroring each other basically today. They're in their heads about this. They're worrying like, can we have this Ten of Cups together? You know, we want this. This is kind of what they envision for the future. This is the happy family, you know. The abundance of love, just absolute fulfillment of love and, you know, um, a huge level of commitment. Ha everything, it's kind of like the happily ever after card, if there is such a thing. Wife, you know, marriage, kids, the house, the dogs running around, all this kind of thing. But they're like, you know, can we get to that point? It's what they want, but... Um, I just feel like it's very masculine here when you kind of get to that point where it's kind of feel like you're back on course towards like Ten of Cups. They start to lose confidence. They doubt themselves, you know. A lot of sleepless nights and worry for Divine Masculine here. And I feel like they're kind of like, have I, have I messed up this connection, you know? Possibly with deceptive behaviour. He's got his hands over his eyes here. So he's maybe not seeing, you know, clearly how you can get things back on track, you know, after the separation. Hmm. <laughs> he wants to. Chariot Cancer energy here again. Get another card actually. It's fast action forward. Um, yeah, you know, it's lots of communication. It's divine, masculine, and feminine coming into reconciliation to balance here. Wanting to kind of get up and go for what you want. Let's see what else we get. Because I just feel divine masculine's here. There's kind of, there's regret around them and there's kind of thinking how they could have done things differently, that type of thing. And what, I just feel worrying that you, you have actually detached here. So, you know, Divine Feminine's here, maybe you kind of instigated this, like you're not coming correct we need a time out on this okay and that has left them in this energy absolutely kind of destroyed here <laughs> you know because what's coming out for divine masculine is i mean ten of cups ten of pentacles and this combined for me is like an engagement marriage situation and the chariot, you know, their energy is it's kind of like wanting everything with you, you know, and wanting like to get up and go for that with you. But feeling like um there's some kind of obstacle in the way of that and I don't know if it's just them feeling like you know they don't deserve this with you because I'm just feeling so so much that that is what they want they want the quintessential like uh, happy life full of love you know, abundance of love, abundance of, like, finances, you know, like, this is an extremely bonded couple, the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, they want everything with you. Hmm. Let's get one more card for Divine Masculine. Page Swords. A little spying card. Hmm. 
So, during this separation, you know, you might not be hearing anything from them, but they're certainly still kind of on the peripheral of your life, like looking in, lurking, spying, social media spying, all that type of thing. Um, and get, it's actually about getting ready to communicate some message. You could be dealing with a younger uh, masculine, maybe even a younger air sign. Um, got that sword in their hand, you know, wanting to reach out with a message. Pick up that phone, you know. Hmm. I'm going to get a clarifier on this nine of swords. Because... Hmm, I wonder if this is them. I just, I feel this separation, what it is, is it's hit them way harder than you. Because it's interesting, you're both nines here, nine of wands, nine of swords. Coming to the end of the cycle, actually, but... I just feel, I just feel from it that it's hit the Divine Masculines harder than you. Um, you know, and they're the ones that are more, I mean, this could be waking up at night, sleepless nights, and it's like dreaming of this new beginning. You've got new beginning twice here. Love, abundance, kind of, this is a power couple, you know? I just feel them wanting to communicate, you know, wanting to come in quite strong, quite hot and heavy with this. I'm going to get clarified for this nine of swords, so. Hmm, okay. That makes a bit more sense. The magician, so this is about communication, this is manifesting. Okay, so... they're trying to get themselves out of, of this vibration you know they're trying to get themselves um a way to kind of manifest things to move forwards um with you they're probably really thinking about what to say to you because i don't feel like you've talked for a while during this separation and it's like I don't know what to say to you just now, you know, because I want this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles with you. And I'm sort of a bit stuck. I'm trying to manifest like the right words to say, the right moves to make. It's about communication. So we've got them here, you know, ready to communicate, pick up this sword, pick up this phone and reach out. And it could be, um, not the most confident, you know, as it is the page, you know, not the most confident state. Bottom of the deck energy is the five of cups as well. So like I said, with the, um, the nine of swords, there's just so much sadness, regret, remorse from them around this situation, you know, that they didn't focus on you enough, they focus on third party situations, there could have been some deception, you know, and it, honestly I feel in this reading that your separation here has just really hit them so hard. Harder than my Divine Feminines. So let's get a couple of eternal messages. What does Divine Masculine want to say? What is this communication or what are they thinking? I'm out seeing here. What's going through their mind just now, basically? Make it clear for my feminine's watch <laughs> I've thought about you spending time with my family and me. So they want to integrate you more into their life, into their family. You know, and I feel like they've thought about having a family with you as well. And they want you to be kind of closer. This actually really could be to do with this religious factors. I was getting like meddling families. 
it may not be strictly like religious issues causing you know friction it could be something else but i do feel there's people watching that the religion the religious issues was an issue and it, so it's like they want to bring you back into the fold they want to you know try and get into this time of peace um smooth things out you know with with those interfering people because if you were just kind of like enough is enough i can't take this people interfering like this you know and that's what led to the separation it's like they're trying to figure out a way of how to fix this I'm a better person because of you. you've really changed me. Enough said, you know. And they know you're the bee's knees. Whoa, that came flying out with such force. Oh, this is a goodie. No one can change my love for you. So we're going to end on that. You know, I always say this to people, but during times of separation like this, don't doubt the love and this is maybe this is what i was getting from the start what's going through your head just now is you're sort of doubting it you know don't doubt it they're saying and here's divine masculine saying that too the love never changes for you even if you're not talking and things like that it never changes they never stop thinking about you you know and here we've got them thinking about this time they want you to be with their family so you're kind of always on their mind and the love is so strong you know but all these 3d things get in the way um so yeah i'm gonna leave it there guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe